you know what? I'm gonna wear a hat. It's all fun and games until someone bids 700 freaking dollars on an RTX 3080 box or $500 on a JPEG. We've all been waiting for Ampere cards to hit shelves and return to normal prices on sites like eBay, but unfortunately, you can't really have one without the other. You can't have your cake and eat it too. When a high demand product is in short supply, people will resort to what you're seeing here. This, ladies and gentlemen, is called scalping, and we've covered it quite extensively over the last few months, but how are things faring now for Ampere? Have prices adjusted at all? I mean, have they have they gone down at all? Have they gone up? Let's investigate. To get rid of that annoying activation watermark, hop on over to VIP SCD key and purchase a Windows 10 Pro OEM key for fractions of the price of retail. Just use a secure payment method like PayPal, receive your key in seconds and activate your OS here. Bye bye watermark. And be sure to use our new offer code SKGS for a sweet discount. So this is getting pretty bad. I wanted to circle back to this market because we largely avoided it in our new and used graphics card price analysis uploaded here. It's also linked down below. Ampere has been widely sold out or just out of stock in general and that's jacked up what little inventory does exist in the used market where scalpers are flipping these for literally double MSRP and they've largely been successful. I mean assuming most of these are genuine bids with intent to buy we can see from eBay's sold listings archive that SKUs are selling for anywhere between 12 and 1500 US dollars ignoring the obvious troll posts. Speaking of which people are so desperate to buy these cards that they're even falling for posts intended to mislead bots like this one here. Both the description and title mention something having to do with a photo, but prospective buyers are so hung up on actually getting a card at MSRP that they're foregoing due diligence in the process. I honestly think a lot of these posts here are scummy and not actually intended to fool bots. I think they're hoping that someone somewhere will buy something from them uh, that is, is intended to be misleading so that they make out with, you know, a few hundred bucks for literally nothing. But from everything I've seen looking at these sale prices, RTX 3080s have refused to come down in price in the used market, which makes sense seeing as though inventory levels haven't recovered in the slightest. But what about the RTX 3090? Well, barring any arguments against such a ridiculously high MSRP in the first place, these cards only appear to be marked up an additional 25% or so, give or take, meaning you'll likely find these as of January 2021 for around 2,000 US dollars. Now, don't get me wrong, both of these cards at these prices are horrible deals, but in the context of markups, 3090 is less horrible, probably because significantly less demand exists for this card. But let's move on to the RTX 3070. I was gonna pull in a 3070 box, but I don't have one. Now this is one of the hottest Ampere cards around so far. And remember, it's a $499 MSRP variant from Team Green, meaning we should expect AIBs to fall, you know, somewhere around this target, give or take maybe a hundred bucks or so. But on eBay, we're seeing scalpers flip these things for an excess of 800 US dollars, meaning they're marked up on average anywhere from 60 to 80% over retail. And still, we see folks falling for crap like this, just a freaking photo, not the real thing, and paying several hundred dollars for it. Please, people, read the titles carefully, read the descriptions carefully. But if we're being honest, of all three Ampere cards listed here, 3070 prices are probably the least appalling, but not because they are naturally priced the lowest, okay? This has more to do with context. So the RTX 3070 is, for all intents and purposes, a 2080 Ti hiding behind a more efficient process and less VRAM and the 2080 Ti was a $1,200 card. So for around 800 bucks, the 3070 still isn't too bad of a card from a value perspective. But again, I tend to follow principle where I can, so let me be clear, paying scalper prices in any capacity is a sin because all you're doing is prolonging the problem, okay? It's a PCMR sin. And especially if you are complaining about high prices yet buying from people like this, you are a hypocrite. Patience is key. You don't need a graphics card that bad unless your work or life for whatever reason depended on it. So let's move on to the RTX 3060 Ti. Now this card here offers RTX 2080, super 2080-ish performance for a price of around $399. This is actually on paper a better deal, a better value. You're getting a higher frame per dollar ratio with the 3060 Ti than you are from any of the other Ampere cards that are currently available. However, eBay scalpers have, of course, driven this one up to around 3070 price territory. and. 
I suppose that makes sense. I mean, 3060 Ti's are practically 3070's in terms of performance, a bit unorthodox from Team Green, but so be it. The lower of the sole listings do touch around 600 bucks. The upper end shoots to roughly 850. I wouldn't pay more for a 3060 Ti than a 3070 if you, again, must indulge scalpers. Um, it just doesn't make any sense to spend this much on a 3060 Ti. Uh, the ones that are priced closer to 600 bucks are getting there, but still, I mean, if, <laughs> and I'm only saying this because I know people don't care. They're still gonna blow their money when, when they really shouldn't. But um, if you have to buy from a scalper, don't pay above what 3070s are going for. It just doesn't make any sense. But at the end of the day, none of the listings that I've scrolled through this week have come anywhere close to MSRP. Uh, and things will likely stay that way until inventory levels are propped. You, you notice a sort of snowball effect in the scalping market when a few end up getting away with it, right? Others are encouraged to follow because they see it working right in front of them. And the idea of making a quick buck quickly consumes the minds of those who don't truly need the added graphical horsepower. I mean, if I'm being perfectly honest and transparent with you guys here, I really can't blame scalpers. They're doing what they're well within their right to do. It is not illegal. Uh, it's scummy, sure, but it's not illegal. Only they'd have no opportunity uh, in this market if supply actually existed. So we deal with what we have here. Um, when I notice something significant change in the Ampere market, I will make another one of these videos. Uh, but for now, it appears as though Nothing has really changed. If anything, prices have gone up a bit, and that is a real shame. For more on this topic, check out relevant videos linked below. Again, be sure to leave uh, your feedback in the comment section, and be sure to give this one a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or learned something. My name is Greg. Thanks for learning with me.